I'm a first timer and wanted to say I love you and thank you. And Abraham, I love all of you. And I'm so, so, so grateful for your teachings and for the incredible, incredible energy I feel and positivity I feel when I use them, yeah. when I'm in the vortex. When you come into the whole of who you are. Yes. When you come into the whole of who you are. Yeah. Yes. Those teachings and those feelings brought me almost everything I've ever asked for in life. If you look at what I wrote down a few years ago when I started the teachings, almost everything is there. Suddenly, I'm living in Spain with the most amazing girl I ever imagined, and all of that just, just happened. It just manifested in this extraordinary, literally an explosion of energy. Say it slightly different. And I allowed all of that through my understanding of the way the laws of the universe work. I tended to my vibration, kept my eyes open and witnessed right before my eyes, the receiving of what was formerly an idea in my vortex. Exactly. Yeah. And there are no limits for me. Even more beautiful than seeing it is feeling it. Yes. The yes. Feelings that come up when I'm receiving are, are well, you extraordinary. See, when you come into resonance with your source, you feel what your source feels. You're seeing with your human eyes, but you're feeling with the whole of who you are. Yeah. Rather than ask a question about something negative, I want to play with the idea of my experience. Well, that's good because if you ask about something negative, then it amplifies that and that gathers more momentum. So right. when you talk about what you want, that gathers momentum. It's a more productive use of time, isn't it? Yes. So what I want is for the relationship to be amazing. Ever since I was a kid, I've had this dream, this passion to have the most amazing relationship. And Talking about a personal relationship? Uh, yes. With, with another know, person? With another person, with my girlfriend. And, yes. You know, in the future, you know, I wanted to have that amazing one on one relationship with my wife that would be forever. And the thing that trips you up about that, we talked about this some yesterday and not as much today. And of course, there's no reason that that cannot be. We're not trying to discourage you from desiring that. We just want to point out that all of your power is right now. And that when you get too far down the road about something, you see where your power, hear this, where your power comes from, what your power is, the evidence of your power happening in the moment is the resonance that you feel with your source. When you hook up with your inner being and in that alignment, you focus, that is power. And that convergence is all happening in your now. If you get too far down the road about it, then you lose that power because the source within you is so now focused. We came across this word earlier today and we want to go back to it so that you can feel the wholeness of it and the power of it and feel the feeling of it, the emotion behind it. And that word is convergence, the convergence, the convergence. And so we often say to you, tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on. That is convergence. That's convergence with your power. And that convergence happens now. It happens now. You don't have the ability to converge yesterday. And you really don't have the ability to converge tomorrow. You only have the ability to converge now, which means find resonance with a subject with your inner being. Think about it the way your inner being thinks about it. And what you're going to notice is that your inner being is not very interested in looking into the past, in dissecting the past, because when humans do that, they're almost always looking for justification about something. And so you lose your connection with your inner being right away. Your inner being doesn't look forward. Now hear this. Oh, 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 oh. We are so eager to say this to you. We can hardly wait to say it. <laughs> It's going to take a slight preface so that you'll understand it fully. But when we say to you what you've been doing is you've been sifting through the contrast of life and throwing your rockets of desire into your vortex and your vortex becomes a now reality in which your inner being stands, your inner being stands in now, but 
that now that your inner being stands in feels to you like future because you don't want to call it now until it manifests. Ooh, you get where we're going, don't you? So your inner being is not looking back. Your inner being doesn't really even want to look back as far as what you call now. Your inner being is standing in the now of the vibrational reality and calling you, calling you, calling you to it. And when you go, then you feel that resonance. You feel confidence, you feel security, you feel love, you feel passion. But if you're standing in an insecure now, trying to see your future, your insecure now won't let you see your future. Can you feel what we're talking about here? So an understanding of where your inner being is. So where is your inner being? Your inner being is consciousness. Your inner being is focused consciousness. And what is the subject that your inner being is focused consciousness upon? Your vortex. And what does your vortex feel like to you? Your future. But what is it really? Your now. It's your now. All of your power is in the now. So as you find ways to think about things like your inner being thinks about things, then you are in perfect receiving mode to where your inner being is. And then and only then can your now become your manifested now. You hear that? Because we are loud. <laughs> that is the most leading edge conversation that we've ever had about turning thoughts to things. And it also explains convergence in a way that is significant. And it also explains why sometimes when you think into your future, you get feeling all insecure because you're not seeing your vortex as your inner being sees it as an already done deal. As you stand in your now without something that you want, and then you try to improve your future from that position, you can't get there because you're on a different vibrational wavelength. That was a really deep understanding, really a deep understanding. I guess my question is still, are we able to download intelligence from a, like an, of a specific subject without going physically to learn about it? Are we able to do that? Like Esther has with you. Are we able to yes. download it? Yes, 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 yes. Is our belief getting to you? Yes, 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 of course, yes, of course, yes, of course. And what do you know would be necessary? for that download to begin. Esther was trying to download her email this morning <laughs> before she was connected to the internet. It did not go well. The connection had to happen before the download could begin. So now what's the next obvious question? How do I download? How do I get connected? How do I get connected? And what's the answer that you know? Just don't do things that keep you from not be connected. Like try to do things when you don't feel good. Like work against yourself by being out of connection, but doing the action anyway, by trying to compensate for alignment through action. That's what causes you to doubt. What causes you to doubt is not being aligned. But you know better than that now, don't you? Yes. So let's say that you're not aligned for whatever reason. You don't feel good. You're worried about something. You don't feel expectant about it, but you want it anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you think that trying harder in that moment is the answer? No, definitely not. Think you should just push through. Think you should just, just make it happen through your sheer will and grit. Or do you think it's time for you to find some way of getting into the receptive mode? And what does that look like? When you are in the receptive mode, how do you feel? Happy, playful, lighthearted, eager, mm -hmm. risky. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been feeling like ever since I've started this personal development journey and studying your stuff. I've not let conditions like my job, you know, that I don't like affect me. I'm always feeling good. I just 
doubt myself and my intelligence to be able to write the book that I want to write. I, well, I let still... us tell you something about intelligence. Your brain is not a storage cabinet. It's not like a file cabinet where you learned that and you stuck it in there and you learned that and you stuck it in there and you learned that and you filed that in there. And so you've got this whole storage cabinet full of information that you can awkwardly retrieve at the right moments. That's not how your brain works. Your brain is a transmitting and receiving mechanism and you have access to infinite intelligence, intelligence about anything. We want to say some things to you and we want to ask some questions of you. Just relax. You'll like it. It'll be fun. Do you understand that you are an extension of source energy? Yes. And do you know that there are a whole lot of people that you have known mm -hmm. or people that are important to you who know you, who are non-physically focused and aware of what you're doing or thinking or saying in any moment in time, a whole cheering section, a whole group of non-physical beings you could call them your vibrational ancestors you could call them those who have come before they are aware of you and they care about you and they are excited about what you're focused upon because when you focus you open doorways and avenues for infinite intelligence to flow and there's nothing that intelligence enjoys more than flowing into new places into new experiences and so can you sort of feel all of that as we're describing it to you so as your life causes you to become aware of things and you're launching these rockets incrementally might not even be aware of what a good job you're doing mm -hmm. but now you've created this vibrational reality and at a time when you're usually not aware of it maybe when you first wake up because you're more in the receptive mode then than any other time or maybe after you've just made love or maybe after you've just had a wonderful swim or maybe after you've just enjoyed something in your physical experience or maybe any time that you haven't done something that got in the way of it mm -hmm. you're in the receptive mode and so this idea occurs to you that's intelligence that's intelligence that you have received so when you receive it if you are thrilled by the idea now you're not hindering it and law of attraction can cause the momentum of that to become more and more and more and more so that this seed of intelligence that has been born long before you received the idea of it but is evidenced powerfully by the desire or the idea that came now this powerful desire that is within you is evidence of your access to intelligence so don't run around comparing yourself to anybody else and what they have learned. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are just putting things in a physical file cabinet and they can't ever get them out again. People get bogged down in all of that. There's all kinds of misunderstanding. You didn't come to regurgitate what has been. You are the creator of the new idea. And all of this non-physical energy and this infinite intelligence that is focused to you and through you is eager for the new idea, not the old, dull, stale, regurgitated idea. It's the new idea that only you can bring. Do you see what you're bringing to this forum with your powerful questions here and now? This conversation would not be if it were not for the platform that is you. That's powerful and important. And your questions are allowing this powerful intelligence to flow forth into this forum, into this time space reality, having a conversation that has never been had with this kind of clarity before. That matters a lot. That's your intelligence. That's your aligning with that intelligence. That's your desire that has brought this about you see what we're talking about mm -hmm. that matters that's really good Thank you. you have no reason to doubt yourself and it wasn't difficult either was it you weren't pushing forward on anything you're just sitting here in a desire of wanting to know mm -hmm. allowing information to come and there hasn't been one thing that Esther has interpreted from our knowledge that you didn't receive in exactly the way we meant it in other words you didn't misunderstand what we said mm -hmm. that's intelligence right. okay <laughs>